Hey everybody, just a quick video right now. We're gonna be looking at one of the features of Logic 10.5 and to be perfectly honest, I've never tried this in a previous version and I don't have a previous version right now that I can try this with. So let me know in the comments if this is something that we could have done before, but I'm pretty sure that this is new, This some of the drag and drop things that we have going on here because now so many things work with drag and drop we can literally pull things off of tracks and put them onto new tracks. Uh, there's so much power with this. But one of the things that I thought was really cool was the ability to drag and drop outside of Logic. So now, for instance, say I've got some band members and they're gonna be practicing the song. I'm gonna just do one thing here. I'm gonna pack this into a folder because that simplifies this whole thing. I'm gonna bring an email out here I'm just going to drag that drum part into an email and it's going to export that through all of the effects and things that it's on. So it's like a bounce in place type thing, but it's going to send an AVE. Now this is one thing I haven't quite figured out yet in terms of, I think it's just pulling out the original file format that's here. So it's not going to send an MP3 or something, but it's so easy just to be able to pull things in and out of here. So uh, this works as well if I am just want to, for instance, let's unpack that for a minute. Uh, say I've got a few different parts here that I want to do to give somebody. Um, it does seem to work best when, or the only way it works, because it'll do individual files if you don't pack it. Um, but I can just drag that out onto my finder and it's going to do the same thing. Is there like a thousand other ways to do this? Sure. But there's something that's so easy about just dragging things uh, around. So I could just drag a simple uh, part of the vocal. I could do one of the, the bass parts. I could really easily get stuff in and out and around. Say you're a teacher or doing a presentation in class. Well, you can come right into Keynote and pull out, say I'm just doing parts, I wanna explain how I did the bass part. I wanna do an audio sample. I can just drag that directly into Keynote. And it's gonna play straight out of there. I mean, this is pretty cool how the world of apps on your Mac are getting smaller and smaller and closer together. It's so handy to be able to have this particular technique where we can just drag and drop into any number of places. Okay, that being said, there are some other things which we can do with drag and drop which are pretty cool, um, but we're gonna, we've looked at some of those in previous videos and I know a lot of people are talking about all the drag and drop features. For me, I just wanted to explore this one aspect of taking things outside of the software with just a simple drag and it puts it out someplace else. Okay, hope you're having a great week. Hope you're enjoying the Logic 10.5 update. So far, I haven't really had any issues with it. I've really enjoyed it. And I think it's gonna be really useful in so many ways, just with the ease of use and things like that. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and I will see you next week.